such an idiot. Um, I know that errors are going to happen, and so help me, I should write code that says when an error happens, what actually happened. But I was, I, I, I didn't. In my Python, uh, I had um, this template not found. And now you can see here on the code, it actually says like template not found, and the template was looking for, and then which file is actually requested by. If you look at the, the code before this, it said not found. And that was it. That's all it said. And what I found was that the, the, the build script, the Travis build script, was not working. It was failing. And I, and I was like, ba -ba -ba, but why? So I, in a previous video, I mentioned I couldn't get the Travis um, stuff working. The build uh, files weren't. Um, the, the the Travis image wasn't uh, working, uh, and a bit of a, a Google around, and somebody on Stack Overflow said you just want to restart your default Docker machine. So it's like Docker dash machine stop default, and then Docker machine uh, Docker dash machine start default. And what that does is it restarts the default Docker machine, which is kind of what you'd expect given the name of the command. And after that, I could download Travis. So I I downloaded the Travis image. Um, which was about a gig and a half, I think, in the end. It was it was pretty sizable, this thing. Uh, so that took a while to do. So I'm sitting there kind of like, mm -hmm. got the file, got a, the Travis image booted up. And I went in and I, I ran each command, command, command. Because this is what I was seeing on, um, seeing this on the log for the Travis. It goes, blah, 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 I'm doing a thing. And it just says, it said, well, it was saying not found. Now, this is the interim version, which we're still not building. It says template not found sections home. And I was like, what? Why? Why? What? So anyway, I get this, get it running, duplicate all the steps that this is going through on that on that Travis image, and it turns out that because it's a fresh clone, even after the npm install, I haven't actually run a build, so I don't actually bake out the styles and the JavaScript as part of the Travis script, and so now you can see. In the Travis YAML, the last thing it does is an npm run build to actually make the JavaScript and CSS um, work. And I've learned something, you know, relearned an old lesson, which is if you actually output what the actual problem is, then you will actually discover what the probable solution will be. Rather than just writing not found, I actually have slightly more meaningful uh, messages here. Um, probably won't be the last time it bites me, but it did. And it took me probably a good couple of hours last night to try and get to the bottom of why it was an embarrassingly long time. But that's what happens. Uh, so there you go. Yeah. Subscribe to the channel uh, if you want more of these. Uh, thank you so many. Uh, thank you so many. No, try that again, Paul. Thank you for all the comments and all the uh, you know questions and all that kind of stuff. You can get the code on GitHub, and you should definitely go and take a look. Um, you know, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just committing stuff in as I go. Uh, and it is, it's is—it's really fun to share all this with you. So thank you for joining me. As I say, subscribe if you want to get more, and I'll catch you in the next entry. Yeah.